Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are Lolly DeLoca and we're here today to talk about what's new on the Celebrity Equinox. Welcome to the YouTube channel, everybody. Again, Tony and Jenny. If you are new here and you enjoy cruising, consider subscribing to the channel with the notification bell on. Jenny, today we are talking about what's new on the Celebrity Equinox. Why do we even care? Because we're going to be sailing on the Celebrity Equinox. Yeah, I guess that's a, I, I guess it's a very selfishly motivated video. We're excited to see <laughs> what's going to be new on the Celebrity Equinox. It'll be the first celebrity ship that we've ever been on. And uh, fortunately for us, the Celebrity Equinox just went through dry dock. It did. Right there in uh, May, June, or it's done. I think it's done. Just came out. The end of May. And the Equinox has benefited from the new $500 million program called Celebrity Revolution. That's lots of money. They're the third ship to get the upgrades from the Celebrity Revolution money, but it's the first Solstice class ship to get the upgrades. I'm super excited. Super excited. Here's some yeah. information about the Celebrity Equinox. It was launched back in 2009, close to 122,000 gross tons, holds about 2,850 passengers wow. and 1,250 crew members. Sounds like it's going to be a fairly sizable cruise ship. Sounds like it is. Uh, you know, I think the, it, it's going to be comparable to the breeze that we just came off of. Mm -hmm. I think that's I about the same, mm -hmm. same size. So. Looking forward to it. Now, we, again, we've never been on a celebrity ship, so all of these things are going to be new to us, but there are some particular things that are brand new to the Celebrity Equinox. So we're really excited about a few of these upgrades. Absolutely. Let me run through the list of what got upgraded, and then stay tuned till the end, and we'll tell you what we're most looking forward to. So like many cruise lines, Celebrity also has its cruise within a cruise. Those are special areas for people that book at a certain level. One of the upgrades that they made on the Equinox affects Sweet Guest. They've created this thing called The Retreat. And The Retreat is a suite only area. Uh, they gave them a sun deck, so a place to have some fun in the sun exclusively. And they also gave them their own lounge. So you have the Retreat Sun Deck and the Retreat Lounge. And that lounge was formerly Michael's Club, a staple on many of the Celebrity Cruise Ships. They brought one of the more popular attractions from the Celebrity Edge over to the Equinox. It's the La Petite Chef and the La Petite Chef and Friends dining experience at their specialty restaurant, Cuisine. What's really cool about it is it's an interactive dining experience where the table comes to life during your dinner. It's like dinner in a show. Yeah. Pretty cool. Another popular spot on celebrity cruise ships is the Passport Bar, and they put some of that renovation money to a completely new reimagined Passport Bar on the Equinox. Something completely brand new is coming to the Equinox. It's taken the spot of what used to be the Gastro Bar, but this is called Craft Social. This is a brand new microbrewery concept on the Celebrity Equinox. It's gonna be a cool bar area where you can get 40 craft beers, wine and cocktails, comfort food. They're gonna have big screen TVs and a lot of leather seating. Sounds like a hip sports bar. Yeah, it does. Or maybe a pub. Maybe. They did spend some money refreshing all of the cabins and staterooms, so the whole ship should have a new stateroom look to it. Yes, very exciting. They've also done stuff for some of our younger cruisers. They've introduced a program based off of the government STEM program, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. They're up in their game for kids at sea and bringing a, kind of a higher level interaction for our youngest cruisers, which sounds pretty cool. It does. Another cool innovation that came with the Celebrity Revolution program is enhancements to the technology on the cruise ship. They're going to an RFID room key system, so you'll be able to open your door digitally. They brought Accelerate Wi-Fi to the Celebrity Equinox, which should mean for a faster experience. And they are one of the first in the cruising industry to use facial recognition ID on the cruise ship to match who you are to your booking. It's supposed to make for a quicker embarkation process and quicker transactions on the cruise ship. And another big feature, they've added a person-to-person -person chat feature on their app so that you can stay in touch while you're on the cruise ship. They've added some new treatments and offerings at the Canyon Spa there on the Celebrity Equinox, including three new couples treatments. You can do all kinds of things there. You can get uh, supersonic teeth whitening. You can have your hair blown out. 
and you can do many things in the spa. And they do have some new retail outlets, including the John Hardy Boutique, a Kate Spade spot, and also a new watch hut. I don't think they call it the watch hut, but a new place to buy watches on the Celebrity what are we Equinox. In the malls? All in all, it took about 29 days to do these upgrades. They did it over in Cadiz, Spain, and now the Celebrity Equinox is back on the sea, just waiting. Just waiting for us to it's come just aboard. It's waiting. It's waiting for Lolly to look to get on there and show it off. So I'm super excited. I don't think we knew about these upgrades when we booked mm -hmm. the cruise. So this was a nice surprise. Uh, of the list there, Jenny, what are some of the things that are jumping off that you're looking forward to trying? I mean, of course, it's always nice to go into a new room that's redecorated. 100%. Yeah. I'm excited to check out La Petite. Yeah, I think that's going to be one of those things. Uh, we did look the cuisine restaurant. I believe it's a $55 per person mm -hmm. experience, but it looks really cool. It looks really high tech. Uh, I think we're going to have to take, uh, take a look at that. I think I'm getting excited. Are you? I'm getting excited. I'm also excited about the technology upgrades, uh, yeah. primarily the fast internet. One of the things I like to do on the cruise ship is to stay connected. And so I'm glad that there's going to be fast internet on the cruise ship. Uh, so I'm excited about that upgrade. I'm also excited about checking out the Craft Social. I'm not a big beer drinker, but I do like those spaces where they have the comfort food and comfortable places to sit where you could catch a game if you wanted. So looking forward to checking that out. Yeah, it seems like we'll be able to also go shopping on a ship. Shopping on a ship is very possible. Yeah. And anything that makes the embarkation process easier, I'm excited for that. We, we got blown away a couple cruises ago where we walked off the cruise ship and Customs was using facial recognition uh, so we didn't have to show our passport. Yeah. It was super fast. So if that same technology comes to play at embarkation and on the ship, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, that's uh, something to look forward to. And then also, is it the keyless entry? Keyless entry, yeah. Yeah. That's going to be pretty neat. Yeah. That's what's new on the Celebrity Equinox. I'm looking forward to being on it. I'm looking forward to our next cruise. Yeah, I'm excited that they got it all nice and shiny. Yeah. Have you ever cruised on Celebrity? Have you ever cruised on the Equinox? What do you think about these upgrades? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tracking along with us again. My name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.